In the OFA Ninja Indicator parameter settings, you'll see a setting for show the net and COT. It will be set to false by default just to keep the chart nice and clean. But if you were to set this to true and click apply, what we're going to see is above probes up and below probes down. Uh, we're going to be shown two numbers. The number on the left represents the total delta for the entire period. So if we were to take all of the values at the offer and subtract all of the values at the bid, uh, we're going to come up with a total of positive 1558. The second number represents the pullback uh, before a new period is created. Um, in this case, what we're doing is taking the, um, the values of the bid minus the ask in the upper portion, because this is a probe up, and doing the same uh, a, a subtraction process. The difference is, is that we're not taking the entire number. Uh, this number is reset every time we come up and make a new high, or in this case a new low, and everything that was printed there prior is, is excluded. So essentially all we're really doing is taking the delta, or the difference between the bid and ask, um, of what has happened since we started pulling back or rotating. So this is just the rotation delta. Uh, many people find this information useful. The reason we have it set uh, to false by default is simply that um, most people do not find it uh, terribly useful. And uh, therefore, it just um, makes it a little bit cleaner chart uh, to take it right off of there.